Hey guys, Amanda here. What's up? I know it's been a little bit since I posted a vlog, but I've been a bit busy a little while, so now I'm here to start reblogging. Uh, I want to get to a few things before I get to a couple of my main things. First, um, this past Saturday, well actually this past week, I had joined the church choir. Now it isn't a really big choir, it's just me and one other guy playing on a guitar, but I thought I might as well get into something now that I'm back here in Roswell. So what I decided to do was, of course, the choir. I can't do altar shoving anymore because I'm not exactly a kid anymore. But I did do that for 11 years. So, uh, played yesterday at the 5.30 Mass at St. John's and had a really good time. And people um, had a standing ovation for me at the end of one of our songs. So I'm a bit happy and I will continue to do that on a weekly basis. I meet the guy on Mondays and, no, Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, to rehearse with him all the pieces that we're doing. So I guess Tuesday we'll see what it is. Um, also tomorrow is Monday, obviously. I will be initiated into the Knights of Columbus. Now for those of you who aren't Catholics and you don't know what the Knights of Columbus are, it's an organization highly dedicated to the church and the formation of the church. It is dedicated to helping our local parish and it's not just here in Roswell, it's worldwide. It's a worldwide thing. And it is so prestigious. It's such a prestigious organization that certain people in the organizations, certain places like in Rome, they actually sometimes are like the secret service for even the Pope. So it's a really big thing. And hopefully I get initiated. It won't. And it will, sorry, um, heighten my experience. So. Wish me luck on that. Um, also, I'm trying to get this video recorded, but I come a little late when it happens. We live right behind uh, the hospital, the new one, here on 19th Street. And with that, we have a helicopter that seems to always land there all the time. Well, I want to get a video of it landing, just a random thing to do. But every time I hear it, I'm either too late, it's already landing, or it's already landed so I haven't been able to get that video so I've been on the call at any moment just to try to go get that video so when I do I'll post it on one of my blogs hopefully the next one will have it um, right now I am watching the game of Ravens oh no, no I'm sorry the Falcons and the shoot I can't believe I forgot the team the Falcons and Oh yeah, the 49ers. Right now it's 24 to 21. So, I guess we'll see who wins. I'm kind of rooting for the 49ers for reasons that most people already know. I kind of want to see my friend and his dad's dream uh, Super Bowl, which is 49ers versus Pats. So I'm hoping the Pats win later today. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about is I'm revealing some things from my past this uh, starting today. And one thing I wanted to reveal is sort of a collection that I have. Now most people collect, you know, like action figures, figurines, phones, you know, stuff like that. I'm a bit different. I collect gloves. And many different kinds of gloves. One pair of gloves that I haven't been able to find just yet, I think it's somewhere around here, I have a pair of black gloves. Now, I didn't buy them, they were given to me by the Eastern New Mexico University Band. There are my band gloves, and I love to wear them, because honestly, sometimes they make me look Phantom of the Opera-ish, and everybody knows that's been my big thing for a couple years now. Uh, the next gloves that I have are my biker gloves. Now, know what you're asking, why would you want biker gloves? Well, usually I like gloves because they help me when I'm driving, but I don't know. Just something about it, about gloves, I like. And for all you perverts out there, don't even think about it. But this is one of my gloves. This is on the right hand. I'm a right hander, so that's what the biker glove looks like. The next glove I have is a actual bike a bicycle glove. This is, I had this I've had this for pretty close to a year now. Um there's this one. It's a Harbinger glove. I guess that's the name of it. And I really like this one because it's really flexible. You can use my fingers really well. But I only have the right one. I've lost the left one. 
Uh, the next gloves I have are, aren't really gloves. They're something that goths wear a lot. And I never got the chance to wear these because I always thought goths at one point had to be skinny. And I've never been skinny in my life. Well, I decided to buy a couple at one point, And what they are, arm socks. And I do have both of them there. So let me just get them on and I'll show you. They're red and black arm socks. Now usually girls wear them, but some guys do. I wear them because they actually do their job. They're actually really warm. And especially like at night, or so during the days when it's either hot or really cold, and my car steering wheel is, you know, either hot or cold, I'll wear them. And that's for the reason is, you know, to keep my hands warm or cool down, depending on what it is. The last glove that I have that I want to share with you is something that I shouldn't be too surprising to most people. It's sort of a half a glove, but um, it's this. Now, for those of you wondering what the hell this is, this is actually a pull glove. It is used for whenever you put the pull down on the table, the uh, stick will slide right through there. Cute. And this is so there's a non-stick because if you use a Q stick on your skin that's sometimes sweaty or something, it'll stick and it'll totally mess up your shot. This glove will make sure that you don't mess up your shot. So, um. Yeah, on to the next phase. I will be right back. Fame, down insane. 